Thomas. Hi, I'm Mark Thomas, and um, I graduated um, from Welsh Institute of Chiropractic in 2009. In terms of my uh, professional role, current role, that's of a senior lecturer and the professional lead for the chiropractic program at London South Bank University. Um, as I'm sure people know, it's a relatively new program. Our first cohort is due to graduate in 2022, and we're the only chiropractic course in London. In terms of the career path that I've uh, taken uh, to arrive where I am now, uh, I initially started working in private practice for a number of years, about five years, and that was mainly in the, in the southeast of England, in, in East Sussex, uh, Eastbourne, and Kent. Uh, I really enjoyed that time, and it was a fantastic time to, to work with patients every day and to really focus my continued professional development. I was then very lucky that uh, an opportunity came up where a new private hospital um, that was built near me chose to have a physical therapy rather than a physiotherapy department. And what that really meant was that rather than just a physiotherapy input, there was chiropractic, osteopathy, and physiotherapy, and the, the name given to it was physical therapy department. And this was developed by a rheumatologist, a physiotherapist, and a chiropractor, uh, Jasper Dow. Um, and I worked part-time at that hospital uh, for, for, for a number of years. Fantastic experience working in a true multidisciplinary environment and a hospital environment as well, which was, um, which was fantastic. Um, really got to understand some of the processes behind uh, how hospital works and how it's governed. So looking at some of the, the clinical governance aspects, looking at incident reporting and, and learning. Um, but also it's fantastic to obviously work in a, in a true multidisciplinary environment Department. There's the opportunity to, to view orthopedic surgeries. Uh, we had regular multidisciplinary meetings and a significant number of training events as, as well. So it's a fantastic uh, opportunity. Um, I, I then went on to actually manage that department for a number of years. Again, fantastic opportunity and, and really allowed me to only uh, continue to develop clinically, but also to uh, help grow and develop the, the department as well. And I'd certainly recommend to anyone uh, a role such as that in a multidisciplinary setting. Uh, and I think and I hope the direction of change is, is certainly more towards competency-based recruitment rather than just profession-specific. And that was certainly our sort of ethos in the department. It was recruitment was based on the professional rather than the profession. Um, I think I always knew I wanted to be involved in academia. And then the opportunity came up, which was the, the new course, a new program, of course, at London South Bank University. Um, I'm thankful that, that the opportunity was there and that a lot of people in the profession um, helped set that up and develop that. And so for me, it was too good an opportunity to miss. And I was inspired to be part of it by the excellent leadership team at London South Bank University. Um, in terms of what I enjoy, in the role and how it compares to working clinically and for me the most rewarding thing I, I find is, is, is certainly obviously working with students and uh, the most rewarding aspect of that is uh, is seeing them grow and develop um, and also sort of guiding or sometimes challenging them to become independent thinkers and, and problem solvers uh, I think in clinical practice that was also the most rewarding uh, or empowering for me when um, I was able to facilitate patients being able to, to self-manage and to educate them to, to understand the health condition. So compared to clinical practice, um, where I think I was a little more controlled in terms of scheduled appointment times, there's a little more freedom in academia. And what I mean by that is that there's a structure in terms of teaching and teaching schedule of course, that's uh, not there all year round, but a significant part of the role is, is research and scholarly activity, uh, as well as professional engagement. And, and really that allows academics to undertake research, which may or may not include a PhD or professional doctorate, but also to be involved in university or profession-wide uh, working groups.
Um, and in terms of any advice that I'd provide to anyone um, who's thinking of, of, of starting or working in academia, I, I would certainly highly recommend it. I think there's a number of options now to be involved, and there's certainly a lot more options with a lot more um, courses in the UK, um, and, and, and potentially as well a lot more uh, roles available that aren't profession-specific as well. Um, so I guess it's the, the, the both feet in first uh, route, the full-time into academia, and that can either be as an experienced clinician, uh, the route I took, or even as a, as a, re, a recent graduate, a new graduate, looking to go straight into academia. And there's a number of roles now available for that sort of graduate assistant roles, um, which is a supported way to go into teaching and also potentially a, an affordable way to undertake a doctorate as well. Part-time roles available, whether that's uh, directly teaching students or more of a, a clinical tutor role working in one of the um, uh, clinics chiropractic student clinics that are that are set up in the universities. Um, and, uh, of course, there's other ways to be involved in academia without being uh, directly employed by a university, uh, and that would be such as being a placement provider. Um, certainly our university and uh, the other universities are, are now starting to provide more placement opportunities in chiropractic clinics, um, or, of course, being a PRT tutor. So I think in, in summary, a role in academia is, uh, is is not for everyone, of course, and it's probably not the uh, the initial reason and inspiration people uh, became a chiropractor. But I, I think really for someone who's really passionate about continued learning and development, it's the the perfect place to be.